everyone, it's Natalie. Welcome back to my channel. These beach waves are inspired by my trip to California and the fun time I had there. And this was a look that I did when I was in California because it was very easy to throw into this style. It takes under five minutes and it only uses a couple of products. I got so many requests to do a hair tutorial on this look. I think it is one of the easiest hairstyles I have ever done. I have seen this style created with a straightening iron or a curling wand, but today I am using my trusty old Conair one inch. This is the instant heat type of curling iron. I have used this line of curling irons in various sizes since they came out on the market. They're the probably about the cheapest you can get, but they work great. I've been using that since I was probably 12 or 13 um, in my theater days. <laughs> so I start by spraying some of this Batiste dry shampoo. This is the clean and classic original variety. I just spray it into the roots of my hair all around the crown. So I give this dry shampoo a good minute for that rice starch ingredient that is in there to soak up the extra oils. Not only does it absorb the oil, but it also creates a little bit more volume and lift to the crown part of my hair. It is so important to protect your hair when you are using heat. Today I am using Tarte's Maracuja oil. People typically use this as a face oil, but you can look right there on Tarte's website when they're advertising this product. It can be used as a body and a hair oil. And I have found that it makes a really great heat protectant, especially for a style like this. It doesn't weigh down your hair. It doesn't make it sticky or oily or tacky. It just adds a really nice light shine. So the only part of my hair that I actually section off is this left side. As you can see, I part my hair over here on the right. So of course I have more hair on this side. I'm just going to take this really top layer and just flip it over to the other side so that I can start curling the underside of that. But I don't really section off any other part of my hair. I try to keep this style as simple to do as possible. So the sections closest to my face, I will make that curl go away from my face. I just think it's more flattering. And so I'm going to start here closest to my face on my left side. I will draw it down slightly from the root to the middle of the section of the hair and start winding it as I go. I'm gonna leave about two or two and a half inches of hair still left uncurled at the bottom. You've seen gals do this before. It's a great trick to give the bottom of your hair less bounce from a uniform curl and more like it's been windblown when you have been spending time at the beach. One of the reasons why they call it beach waves. As soon as I've let that sit for about 15 seconds, I'm gonna then draw the barrel straight down over over that last part, the part that I left out of the barrel, just to straighten it all that much more. I will make another wave using the same method. As you can see, I'm working in big sections here. Nothing needs to be perfect at all, I will say it again. And I will choose some sections of hair to actually curl forward so that um, there is conflicting textures going on, creating that messy look. I'm gonna move that top layer of hair back over on top of the waves that I just made and and again, the piece of hair that is closest to my face is going to be curled away from my face. The next one, I'm actually gonna curl toward my face, alternating as I go toward the back of my hair and then stopping when I reach that midsection in the back. I'm then gonna move on to the right side of my face. I don't need a section off anything here because it's just pretty much one layer. Starting closest to my face, I am going to move away from my face with the wave and again, drawing that barrel down to make sure that I am straightening that end. The next wave, of course, is gonna be directed toward my face. The next one, away from my face, toward it, away, toward it, away. Do you see a trend here? No real rhyme or reason to the direction that I am making these curls, just to make it messy and unpredictable. As soon as I have worked all the way to the back and I am gonna curl that very last section, I am ready to let my curls set for at least 60 seconds. This gives the last ones that I curled the chance to completely cool. This will set your hair in that wave. 
A mistake that gals make a lot of the time is to finger through or comb through their hair before their hair has finally gotten the chance to cool fully. That can completely ruin the style and that's why sometimes gals complain that their curls fall out or their wave is completely gone by the end of the day. A lot of the time it's because they're brushing through or fingering through those curls way too soon. So after my hair has gotten a chance to cool fully, I am just gonna take my fingers and quickly mess up those curls. I make sure that there are no tangles because even though this is a messy style, I don't really like to have tangles and knots in my hair. And once that is done, I'm gonna go in with my very last product and my very favorite of this whole look, which is the John Frieda Beach Blonde Sea Waves Sea Salt Spray. I love this stuff. I featured this in my April Favorites video and I think this is actually what made you guys really request this style. The reason I love this is that it texturizes your hair to make this sort of tousled wave carefree look and it takes it from this really like silky perfect looking wave to more texturized and definitely more lived in. The nice thing about this is that it doesn't create a sticky residue or a shiny film on your hair. It actually has a matte finish which is much more natural and much more easy to manage. I have a little trial size version of this that I take in my purse with me to do any touch-ups. It doesn't really need much touching up through the day but if I'm really really honest, it is the scent of this that I really enjoy keeping it with me throughout the day for. Um, it smells like a vacation. It's got this coconutty smell, sort of sea salt smell. I know that sounds funny, but it reminds me of the beach. It reminds me of good times in the summer, and I love this product for creating this look. All right, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I sure enjoyed shooting it for you all. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you would like to see more videos from me, please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't seen it already, I actually did a makeup tutorial on the look that I am wearing today. It is sort of a rose gold uh, peachy spring and summer look that I have been wearing nonstop and I loved shooting that one for you as well. So check out the link in the description box to my makeup look and share this video with a gal who would like to learn how to do beach waves super simply so they can be on their way out the door and enjoy this beautiful sunshine. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.